Hey guys, and welcome to Scrub Talk episode 1. Scrub Talk is a series where I, High Flam 15, with a guest, discuss a certain topic being very important to the community of World of Tanks, like is artillery balanced? Skillful matchmaking, is it good or bad? Or like today, we answer some questions which the developers have asked and want answers to. But since we're nowhere professionals on the scene of World of Tanks, we're just here to pro 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 provide our scrub opinions. So welcome to Scrub Talk. Today I'm joined by the lovely Behemoth. And just to get shout outs out of the way, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm uh, Behemoth. I've been uh, playing World of Tanks for about two years now. I'm an SCJ instructor. That means that I'm instructing people on how to play World of Tanks. And, well, I'm basically not bad, not good. I'm, well, a scrub. Essentially. <laughs> and that's why I'm on the show. Perfect. And um, in the background, we'll be seeing some gameplay from me and Behemoth. Even if you don't like our answers, just you can enjoy our scrubby gameplay. But yeah, let's uh, let's just uh, jump to the uh, the first uh, couple of uh, questions because that's what we're gonna talk about. So yep. let's just get to it, and um, yeah, let's um, let's just look over um, the first one, which is well, the uh, the questions are asked by Evilly, uh, who is a uh, World of Tanks producer. And the first one is, what do you think is wrong in current random battles? No, uh, you don't need to, uh, he doesn't He doesn't ask for skill matchmaking for instance, but he wants to know if anything else is missing. Let's get your answers. Yeah, what I think is currently missing in random battles, well, uh, we saw that yesterday while we were playing World of Tanks, was the tier balance on some of the games. Because uh, last night we had a game where we had two tier 10 artilleries. The enemy team had three tier 10 artilleries and two normal tier 10s. And the rest was tier 9. So that was horribly imbalanced. Yep. We did almost win that one though. Yes, we actually did. Almost. <laughs> two tanks. <laughs> and furthermore, uh, some vehicles are, well, kind of bad when they're bottom tiers or some of others are actually really really good when they're top tiers so that might be a little thing to look at and uh, what I thought as well uh, we were talking about it yesterday was the uh, map pool rotation because we were having bits of trouble getting into well some of the other maps we were playing uh, what was it fiery assault uh, salient yes and Runeberg almost all the time so, and some of the uh, so we're talking about maybe a negative and bonus or negative uh, thingy for uh, for the map pool rotation. So if you play a game in well, let's say ten battles, that gets a negative bonus for the map pool rotation to pick on. So you get a different map every time instead of you no know, fiery assailant uh, three times in a row. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that's a really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah, what do you think? Well, on the um, well, yeah, I have the exact same point. Like with skill matchmaking, I sh I put the picture up right now. Um, that was pretty insane, and um, and then I don't know some kind of like um, like you you often sometimes see a lot of green players in one team and then a lot of red players on the other. So I don't know if just some way. You don't have to put like like skill versus skill, but at least split up like, some kind of. I don't know, it's it's gonna be like close to skill matchmaking, which we are not gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about that, but some kind of like dividing them. It needs to some it needs to be put in somehow. Um, yeah, a little bit more balance so that uh, not every skilled player is on one team and all the others are on the other team. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, have a, have a point on that. But that is in the sixth question, yeah. I think, or seventh. I can't remember. Um, and then yeah, of course the map uh, rotation thing because when you just play one map, if I only played Ensk, sure, I'd be happy. But when I get maps that are really annoying, like. Um, Old Prokhorovka or uh, Fiery uh, Salient, uh, where you really have to, like the team has to 
go to the spots where they need to go or you just won't be successful. The hill needs to be spotted, the middle needs to be spotted once in a while and then, I don't know, a light tank or something going to the uh, to the left so they can't just push up and open, like, take the west completely without you noticing. Um, just in general there are lots of bushes I've figured out, or it, it's been on uh, For the Records blog, that some bushes are just there to look pretty. They don't provide any camo value at all. So I'd like to say that change just... If a bush is a bush, then it's a freaking bush. Give it some yeah. camo value. Um, yeah, I actually didn't know about that um, the bush thing, that some of them didn't have any camo rating. Yeah. Yeah, that needs to be changed. So every bush needs to have at least camo. Yeah. Um, then I would like some bigger maps, just um, like bigger maps with city parts like spread out, maybe in one corner, not in corners where you can camp, but like so you have to move just a little bit, and then light tanks can actually be useful because right now they're making bumps and hills and city blocks where light tanks really can't shine at all so just a little bit of help with uh with the light tanks so they can actually be useful because in lower tiers all they can do is actually scout with their small speed and then they have to retreat and they can't really do any damage to to heavy tanks or medium tanks front so some bigger maps where tanks actually have to move to a city part and then light tanks can roam around and on the spot I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, I agree with that uh, because passive scouting isn't as important anymore as it was um, previously. Yeah. Uh, active scouting is a lot more important, and a lot of uh, light tanks are hurting from that, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, also, this would hurt the artillery because then they would actually have to start to know their shell travel time and actually have to put some skill into hitting. Um, instead of all the maps where an RD of higher tier can hit anywhere um, and be pretty successful with their shells. Um, you would actually have to know how to click and uh, in advance and lead the shell and stuff like that. Uh, but this is probably not going to happen. No, because slow tanks mostly, I think. Yeah. Slow tank goes one way and it's in kind of a big map then you're kind of screwed if everything dies out or you're just uh, rolling behind everybody else. Yep. Um, yeah, I think that was question number one, unless you have something more. No, uh, the other things are in the other questions, I think. Well, then the second question is, what are your goals in random battles? Grinding, high stats, farming missions. Um, in, from, from my part, it's just doing good. I like being part of the the top players, carrying the team to victory by going to key locations and holding them against multiple enemies and showing newer players, like, going where people should go and then people can see that, oh, he actually, he's, he's fighting up there and it seems to be a good position, but I don't know if how big an effect it has at all. And then I just like to like keep my stats at where they are, actually, around two and a half thousand um, W8, if I can, three thousand, just to add a little bit to it every day. But I don't really like grind tanks at all or farm missions. So if there's a mission like with, you have to do 25k damage, which is pretty easy in one day, but still I don't go, I have to get it. I just finished the, uh, the October mission, which was five wins a day. And some of the some of the days it was really, really tough just to get five wins. So I stopped caring about it and I just played a little bit, and then it, and I finished it. That's, I don't really go for anything else. Yeah, I, I don't farm missions myself because well I can't play every single day, and well most of the missions that I do want are actually daily missions, so you need to play daily, and I just can't do that. And some of the times I just don't want to play, so I just don't. But yeah, uh, what I do mostly in run battles is actually grinding. I don't have uh, all the tier tens. I actually only have one, the mouse. Mm. Yes, and well, 
I'm grinding towards other things most of the time, and and uh, there are things in between that I really like to play, and I actually keep them. But every time I go into the game, I always do the best I can. Sometimes that doesn't work out because I try something stupid or silly, and I get annihilated instantly. But then, yeah, I you know, know which I, game I do you that get. Too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And you try something and it just doesn't work. But all the times when it's going good and it's going, yeah, then I can actually take on an entire flank with uh, two or three backups. That's it's entirely possible. It's possible. Yeah, I've better. seen it happen. Yeah. yeah. But all it, yeah. And then talking about W and 8 and efficiency, eh, I don't care for W and 8 and efficiency all that much. I'd rather have. Um, myself see on top of the leaderboards every time, damn time than having a good efficiency rating or something like that. But doing the most damage, that's that's always nice to see. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, then I then I come to actually a point that I didn't write on, but mm -hmm. um, the metal fire for effect. Yes. Uh, it's do more damage than your vehicle's HP is worth. Uh, it's, that's that's my goal all along. I want to do as much damage as I can and take the amount of damage, the most amount of damage that I can. Just excel in every way that that is possible in the tank. And well, if you get rewarded for it with the medal, okay. But I'd rather get rewarded with uh, with experience for it. Yep. In my opinion. That's actually the only one of the only medals that I really like of the new ones because it tells you that you did good. Because all the others are like, oh, you got four kills. Yeah, but it was only like 200 damage in total. Good job. You're a fighter. No, <laughs> nope, you're a kill stealer. There's no such thing as kill stealer, but he read. Nope. Unless you're a good job and you do 400 damage in an E75 and get two kills. <clears throat> yeah, well, we do 3k damage <laughs> each. Yeah. Well, um, next question. Um, what do you think about garage battles in random and garage battles in general on tier 10 for example so if you don't know what garage battles is that you pick a batch of tanks like three maybe or four uh, and um, then you go into a battle and you pick the first tank that you want to play and then you do good in that then you die and you respawn and that's basically it and you just respawn with all your tanks and then you're dead and um, after that you get all the uh, credits and XP that you accumulated. Um, do you like it? And why do you like it? And aren't you afraid of levers? No, I do kind of like the idea. I mean, it works. Uh, if you look at War Thunder, it works in tanks. But I do think in the World of Tanks formula, in random battles, no. Because not a lot of people have the same tiers. For instance, three or four uh, tanks of the same tier, like tier 7 or something. Yeah. Not a lot of people have them. So they're going to need to take lower tiers, or they just have one or two tanks in their garage uh, slot. And then you can look at the balance of that. Because if one team only has uh, two tanks in their garage um, battles, and the other team have like four tanks in their garage battles, Where's the balance then? How can you balance it out? And, well, yeah, tiers. If one has tier 7, tier 6, and a tier 4, then is that a garage battle or how do you balance it out? It's, it's really, really annoying to, or interesting actually, to yeah. see how they can figure it out. But uh, I heard that they're not going to do it in the random battles at all. So Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is um, like people would have to have multiple of the same tier. Most people don't really have that, and um, like just like in random battles, people uh, have been complaining about why it's not like plus one, plus or plus one minus one in the uh, battle tier, and even uh, just can I meet the same tier and just fight that? The more than tank, I don't know. That's not fun. It's just it, it's not fun because some tanks are overpowered at their tier and some are insanely underpowered at their tier, so they need to get that um, 
fight against two tiers lower than them themselves once in a while, just to, for them to keep having fun. Um, but yeah, um, it's a feature they've promised a million years now, and they haven't tested it, so I don't know why they are not just throwing on a test server and just testing it, instead of keeping it on the super test server constantly. Um, because super test server, people will have all the tanks that they can have. They're, they're, the super test is there to test super, like, you can, you, a new vehicle is added and everybody has it. And, and then you get to play around with it and find out what's good and what's bad about it. But um, it's not really a, a good, you don't get some good statistics over, like, over the, yeah, the whole basic um, like player base. So I don't know if... Um, yeah. yeah, more people need to try it out. Yep, exactly. And, and about levers, I don't really care. If you're a lever in, in random battles, then you... You're probably going to be a lever in garage battles, but like, like some people are like if you look at the statistics after a battle, it's you always have those people who does close to no damage. I'm pretty sure those guys are also the guys that if they get killed repeatedly, they'll just leave. So they won't be anything other than like a respawn in the base, and then they can actually spot for the. Uh, the people that are still fighting so I don't really mind <laughs> at all uh, levers because they're usually the people who don't know how to really fight back um, because if I pick a tier 8 and a lot of people have picked tier 10s then I can still do a whole lot of damage and or stuff or whatever um, stuff in especially stuff um, mm, totally stuff yeah before I die and then I still have my tier 9 and my tier 10 waiting for me so I don't really mind people leaving in general because uh, I, 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 <laughs> this is coming from a, a, per, a real scrub or a person <laughs> who thinks he's awesome because like there are the f there's like maybe four if you're very lucky five people that really know how to play in every single battle and they carry the team completely and um, it's going to be the same thing in garage battles just with more uh, live subjects to kill on each team, actually. Yeah. So um, I, I don't really mind at all. But I, I think it's really good work, and I think they're going to test it mostly in uh, Clan Wars and Stronghold mode. Yeah. And, but I think it's uh, best if they limit the amount of vehicles then in, uh, to two or three. Yeah. So it's a bit faster paced. So yes. It's not a, like uh, 30 minutes long battle with... Uh, every team having three vehicles like then essentially it gets uh, 45 against 45 yeah which which just is insane and just takes way too long for the for the games to drag out yeah. but the climb was like really uh, team based so you have a build commander like that and yeah i see it working actually yeah um they just really need to that nail or the head head on the Head on head the head. The nail on the head. Head on the net. Yes, the yes. hammer on the head. Um, <laughs> so with that balance, got... and then it would be, would be fun. Um, but they really have to find that, that special balance. Yeah. Yeah. Onward to the next question, which I think is a pretty fast one to get past. What do you think of an FFA, a free for all, a death match? Not a dual mode, but just where people. Of all tanks just shoot at each other, tier 8, 9, 10. And, um, nope, I wouldn't like it. I would, it would be too much chaos, in my opinion. And I wouldn't play it not that much. Because tanks are, they're balanced in to support each other. Like, tank destroyers sit a little bit more back and artillery support from afar. Maybe tanks go into brawl, but if you have no one that are set up, to be on one team is just going to be chaos, I think. Yeah, and well, I want to touch on the uh, dual mode, that's how they actually said, so... Yeah, the imbalance of vehicles with uh, 1v1 capabilities, it's like, like you said, some tanks are just for support, and some tanks are really good for brawling, but if you have like an IS-7, which is good for 1v1, but if you have a medium tank that is completely in the open and 
surrounding the i7, then, well, the medium tank is gonna win, hands down. So, dual modes, no, with just a big capital N. But then, free for all, not 30 people, or even 15. Yeah. I think 10, maybe. <laughs> maybe, but it's a very big maybe. Because then you gotta think about camping. Yep. <laughs> if you have nine people against you and you're all alone, what are you gonna do? Sit in the corner, wait for them to come out. That's Super at least a lot of people are gonna do that. Yep. And then you've just got five people or maybe even eight people waiting. Two people driving around getting killed in the first minute. Yep. And yeah, but that was the fun in that. Then you've gotta wait like fifteen minutes to get a draw, essentially. And okay, even if if nobody's gonna camp, what map are we gonna play? Uh, pick for that. Exactly. Is there a map that is capable of a free for all at the moment? No. Just no. Did I gotta pick a new map? Maybe a uh, uh, like a destruction derby kind of thing. Uh, you you remember that game uh, flat out? Yep. That uh, destruction derby, like it's just one pit where they all just drive at each other. Maybe that for a free for all. Then yeah. it, it's very chaotic, but it can maybe be fun. Maybe tough. Yeah, very tough. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> um, then we have the sixth question. No, what fifth. You, what, fifth. 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 No, fifth was a oh, fifth. What the hell? Okay, yeah, no, hey, fifth, hey, fifth, I've got a fifth. good track. Fifth. Shut up, you hear it? I'm not shutting up, okay. you invited me. I'm... Fifth question, yeah. fifth question. What do you think of Team PvP Battleground mode with checkpoint? MOBA without AI. Well, if it's like a MOBA, I have my doubts. Mm -hmm. It's it's just... What are, what are you talking about, like with MOBA? Like creep waves or something like that? No, no, no creep waves, because that's it's, AI. Yeah, that's... It's just really weird to, yeah. Are they lanes then, or are they stuff to do? Is there a jungle? Or it's it's gonna be hidden village. Yeah, uh, hidden. Yeah, it's hidden village. It's it's really weird. They are like mobile without AI. It's, so I I don't like that, but I like the idea of maybe a team uh, PvP battleground with checkpoints, but then in a more essential like uh, battlefield, how they do it? They've got to uh, protect like two bombs. If those two bombs get uh, destroyed or blown up, uh, stuff like that, mm. then you advance in the map. So that's the checkpoints. Uh, I kind of more like that idea. Yeah. If uh, for a battleground mode with uh, checkpoints. Yeah. How about you? Well, I not really up for the um, <laughs> for that um, game mode actually. Even even with the checkpoints that you just said, um, I don't know how you could make it like PvP. Like with checkpoints where you move on. How do you like? I don't even know. Okay, yo, yo. Well, maybe, but because tanks are so slow again, yep. like you, you just can't, you can't balance it. I think yep. it would have to be like the same tanks versus the same tanks, <laughs> and slow tanks versus slow tanks. That would be super funny. Yeah, and then there's respawns because well, yeah. you've got a. If you have the checkpoint, then most likely the entire enemy team is dead, or half the enemy team. Yeah. So getting to the next checkpoint, everybody needs to be respawned. Yeah. I don't really, I just don't see it happening actually. And I don't really like Hidden Village, because it is just a uh, yeah. three lane. It's, it's, I think it's the most obvious three lane map there is in the game. Because you can go in the middle, city, or that part in the, in the west, and that's it. Well, that's two parts in the west, but whatever. It's four, okay. Well, well big difference. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I think the idea is, is really weird, and they, they shouldn't continue. Yeah, uh, I like the idea, but not the world of tanks. No. Um, question six. What mode, solo or platoon, not requiring teams, is, according to you, the most suitable for tanks? You can offer your own kind of mode. Um, I would say it's random, because as we've seen, uh, with historical battles, they tried to do something where uh, you got to pick your tank and then got into a battle. 
which wasn't set up as it should have been because people just didn't want to play some of the set up um, teams that were required for that historical matchup. So it's it's really tough to balance tanks because some tanks are super imbalanced. Like some tier 8 tanks are really, really the best at that tier and so on with the tier 9s and 10s and, and 7, 6, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's really tough to make a game mode um, that is just perfect, which can be perfect, where you don't have to wait for long. That is that is what Wargaming pushed the most at some point, um, that you got into battle instantly because the matchmaking algorithm was so good, and it still is um, pretty decent. But when you have to start making another mode where you have to wait a lot longer to get that perfect balance they really have to nail a perfect balance if any other mode is going to overtake the popularity of random battles so I, I, I can only say random battles because all the other modes that are kind of that we've talked about here like the PvP FFA garage battles it just it, it needs insane balancing to work out properly yeah. Well, uh, with different game modes, um, but I like these special game modes where they uh, re recently put up, like the uh, Jeffrey Rally mode. I I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. it. It was strange, and uh, for a world of things, but it 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 worked. It was really fun to do. Mm -hmm. Of course, it it did require a team, so it's not really um, Jeffrey Rally mode, but. Um, I've got a point here. Like, do you remember Call of Duty One? Yes. Um, the mission where you're in a T thirty four A five and you just drive around killing a bunch of tanks. Mm. That in World of Tanks, basically. So just missions against AI, just stuff. Oh, yeah. Destroying a lot of enemy tanks, AI. Maybe not. You no. Know, balance like uh, it's in it is in a random battle so you destroy enemy tanks more easily mm -hmm. so you just get the feeling of your tank and just feel superior in your tank basically oh, yeah. so, so people in tiger just can actually feel like oh i'm super good at everything the russians throw at me something like that you know yeah and, yeah. and i think it can actually work out it doesn't require a lot of ai to be developed it can actually just be regular dumb AI to uh, to begin with. Yeah. But yeah, just missions against AI. I think they can actually do a lot of it with it because well, they've already got the tutorial in. That's yeah. basically mission against AI. So work on that and work it out. Then, then I think it's it can be quite a good uh, good time. Good time. Yeah, good time with uh, against uh, AI. Yeah. And, um could be fun because you, know, you could also like even in like half a tutorial PVE mode kind of you could like go through a ton of things like hull down, side scraping, uh, yep. cover yourself in blah blah blah, an ally that died in front of you, use his as cover, um, get to a bush, sit still, don't fire because then you'll get spotted. There's tons of things that can be put into to such a mode, so that's um, if it's PVE and it's coded, then yeah, it it would be cool because like like people have already made bots that are much better than the the crap player, uh, the, the yeah. really bad, the worst of the worst player in World of Tanks because they know how to aim and they know when they can't penetrate, like if the tank is angled too much. They won't fire at, at high angles, um, stuff like that, and, and that's easily programmed into. Yeah, it can easily do that. Yeah. Um, so do it, war gaming. Do it, man. Yeah. And just uh, make something special of it, like as uh, the tiger in the filet bagage, like the actual historical thing. A yeah. uh, tiger against a lot of American and British tanks, uh, just and drive around in that, something like that. Yeah, that would be super cool. Yeah, I want that now. <laughs> All right, um, skipping on to skipping on. Skipping. No. Ooh, skipping. Skipping. <laughs> Is that your skipping sound? 
No, no I'm skipping backwards. <laughs> no, it's whatever. We're gonna skip forward. No, that's backwards too. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> that's, that's, that's something entirely different. That's yeah. uh... Question number seven. If you want to, so you, you weren't, uh, you, you didn't have to, Behemoth. Make a proposition for your own mode for random battles, like assault, encounter, etc. But are there more? Except assault, for encounter, um, um, random. And then there was the uh, na national battles. Yeah, national. Yeah. What, what was that called, actually? Historical? No, no. No, something. Um, yeah. I can't remember that idea. Yeah, that I probably. played it so much that I can't remember it. Yep. But yeah, um, yep. do you have a, a mode? That I would actually be... have two. You have two? I have one. I have, so you I go have... first, I go mine. Well, actually you got the basic one, uh, capture flag. Ooh. Just a uh, point on the map with, uh, let's say, cargo. Yes. It's just basic uh, cargo. Mm -hmm. And somebody got to pick it up and he drops it uh, near his corpse when he dies, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. If you've got to bring it back to either your own spawn or the enemy spawn, and I think the enemy spawn is more interesting to do. Yeah. Yes, and it can really easily be implemented, like the encounter mode. Just have the cargo sit on the cap flag for the encounter mode, and then bring it back to the enemy spawn point. They can really easily do that, no problem. Easily, come on, man. Easily. And then the uh, second one, that's a bit uh, more interesting, I think. Okay. Is uh, protect the cargo. Protect the column. Yeah, protect VIP. Basically, AI tank or just column of AI tanks driving from point A to point B, and one team's got to protect them, and the other team's got to uh, destroy them. Yeah. yeah. We tried that one point in just training mode, but because people didn't understand it, they just completely failed at it. But it did. It did sound like a like a mode that could be fun. I don't know if I'd play it actually. Um, but but it just it just it, it it can be done easily. It's just yeah. fucking hell. Like the Panther scripted in the train you know, tutorial, just make it go from on the road do, 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 through a map very slowly or whatever, and then yeah. just there we go. Um, I also I, I just thought of another one, but it's basically just taking it from another game. Um, wait, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, okay, I'm going to say the other one first, um, right. which is scramble mode. You Ooh, pick you pick three tanks within three tiers. Six, seven, eight. Three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. Or whatever. You can pick whatever. Uh, it can be one, two, three as well. Um, and then three rounds are played. And between each round... The teams are scrambled with the players. You stay on the same map, so you don't just be, because that. I think that's what I think. That's what I think <laughs> because that's what I think is the the biggest issue with new players playing. They don't get to play on the same maps enough. Uh, like Malinovka. Okay, I'm gonna go forward to the houses. Boom, get destroyed. That wasn't a very good idea. Then they don't get to try that same map and go, okay, this time I won't go to the house because that was a bad idea. I'm going to go to the hill. Oh, I went to the hill. We're actually fighting up here. Oh, my God. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't advance so much. I'll do that next time I play that map. But then it'll take forever to get to the map. And, and, and then they'll forget and they'll go to the houses again and boom. And So three rounds on the same map. And in between the rounds, the teams are scrambled between the good players. So, if someone does extremely well in the first round, like four players, and the team um, wins like 15-1, then more than half of the... Um, no, you, you, just, you just scramble them up so that the, um, the, the good players don't stay together. So, it, actually, it balances out. But then we're back to skilled matchmaking, but not really before the match. Because skilled matchmaking would set you up against equally balanced players. Here you still get into a match where you can get quite a lot of kills, shooting the, the new kids just driving in the open, whatever. But between the battles, it gets balanced out, so both sides have a chance to win. 
and that's what uh, that's my suggestion with that one. I got one point okay. against it actually. Go. What about platoons? Platoons. Um, if there is a unicorn platoon uh, on one team, how do you do that then? Then you just like, like that's that's what um, that's that's what this one couldn't have platoons yeah. um, because um, unicorns and then just go in and, and, and eat everything. So I would still play this mode alone because at some point you would get one fair round at least uh, and on the same map. So you, yeah, that, uh, I would like this one. Without platoons. Yeah. But it could also be balanced with platoons but then would you have to go look at stats and blah blah. Yeah, so, yes, it's this. So it would be just between the stats, between each round, that decide the next scrambled team. So even even if people were like, oh, I'm just gonna do do horrible in one battle, and then we're all gonna go on the best team together, and we're just gonna break face. And it's gonna like, no, but then your W and eight is gonna drop like insane. So I don't see good players doing that. That could be one of the drawbacks um, to it people would just fix it so that you would lose horrendously on the first one and then just in the, the remaining two battles just do incredibly well and yeah but, but then again if multiple people do that then there's no guarantee of you being on the best team exactly so and it, that and it would like screw up their precious statistics True. Um, and then the last one is also just not the capture the flag but kind of catch the flag, just like um, War Thunder, Battlefield, whatever a much bigger map for the faster tanks just faster tanks, like um, I don't know if it should be only light tanks, because light tanks the next tier above the, the previous light tank is pretty insane um, in damage and health and whatever um, rate of fire and stuff like that, so I don't know, just a big map where you could um, yeah, just like Battlefield and War Thunder and whatever. Um, multiple flags. They just done that in team battles, changed that in the 9.4. So there's two that you have to defend against. One team defends, one team attacks. You have two cap zones, which are, pre which are pretty far from each other. So you can't just sit in one spot and defend both spawns. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, but I would really like to see it as like a double encounter stuff. A yeah. double map a base still with like lots of uh, on time on each or maybe not so much time and then when you get both it's over or you kill the enemy team then it's over but because I think they have something good there on the um, in the team battles with two bases and one team defends one team attacks and they can't defend both cap zones at the same time I think that yeah, that's a really good uh, change. Because it's only on assault mode, I think. Uh, yeah, but it's yeah. still defend attack, so you you can't really. Yeah, but then yeah, it's uh, way more balanced, in my opinion, as yeah. well. Yeah, just remove assault completely, and then just add this two yeah. base assault. Yeah, it's uh, uh, I think that they should do it. They should do it. Because you know you, basically you eliminate camping. That's, that's essentially what it does, and that's yeah. the major drawback of assault. Yeah. One team camps and wins, yeah. while other teams try to attack. Well, it's just you need to be either very, very good or very, very coordinated, and you're not going to get that in random battles every time. Nope. But yeah, that, uh, if you don't have anything more, do you have more, Beaver? I, I actually don't have more. You don't have more? No, I thought I... you were. 42 minutes? That's not enough, man. I thought you were prepared. 42 minutes only? Oh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, that's, uh, that's a lot of uh, talking we did. Yeah, but uh, if you didn't like the talking, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Totally. You, you're just going to mute us. Yes, yeah, so you're just going to mute us and just put on some more music. Yeah. Hmm. That's fine, too. But, yeah, yeah, that was the first episode of Scrub Talk. And uh, feel free to answer the, uh, the questions in the comments if you have some, some better suggestions for modes or 
what not was was uh, what was asked in the questions. I'm going to link to the uh, to the questions in the description if you can't remember them all. I don't want to go through 42 minutes to find them all again. So, but yeah, I've been Highfly15. I've been Behemoth. And this was Zgrubtal. See you next time.